I've just finished shaping the neck. It's more or less a C shape, but uh, has just a slight flatness right down the center line. Um, a lot of people seem to like this feel. I guess it gives them a little bit of a place to rest their thumb. So I'm pretty close to putting the finish on the instrument, but the last thing I'm going to do before that step is to make the bridge. Um, I'm using this piece of Madagascar rosewood that matches the peghead veneer and I've got it cut down to the, sh the size I want it to be. It's like 29 millimeters wide and 9 millimeters tall and 190 millimeters long. Now the next thing I'm going to do is just a, a series of cuts on the table saw and then I'll start uh, chipping away what doesn't belong and refining the shape. So the wings of the bridge are pretty well to the shape I want them to be. Um, before I drill the holes, this is going to be a 12-hole bridge by the way, but before I drill the holes I'm going to glue in the tie block inlays. Um, tie block inlays are partially decorative, but then the outer piece serves a, a more practical function of its hard animal bone and it keeps the strings from digging into the edges of the softer rosewood bridge. So I'll get that glued on, smoothed off, and then drill the holes for the, the strings. Put some white paint on the back end of the tie block makes it a lot easier to see my pencil marks. So now I'm going to mark off the 12 millimeter spacing of the strings and I'll get the holes drilled. As I said this is going to be a 12 hole bridge so in addition to the six primary holes there will be six more on the, the sides of the primaries so that when the strings wrap around twice there's a hole for those to go into also. And those, those secondary holes will be about three millimeters away from the primaries. 
that spacing really isn't very critical. It's it's the uh, the spacing of the primary holes that determines where the strings will be positioned for the player's hand and and along the fretboard. So those are the critical ones. When I drill the holes for the strings, I could easily just drill them straight through the tie block. But the problem with doing that is sometimes then when they hit the the ramp at the back of the saddle, they, they kind of stick there. So what I like to do is drill the strings holes on an angle so that they're they're just naturally pointing upward and there's less of a tendency for them to get jammed up on this wood back behind the saddle. So I took a chunk of mahogany not, not that it matters that it's mahogany and I split it I cut it with a on a 10 degree angle. So now when I put these pieces of mahogany into my vise and then clamp the bridge in, it's tilting on a 10 degree angle. So I can drill straight down on the drill press, but the holes wind up going in at an angle, which is exactly what I want them to do. The last big thing to do is to shape the block where, where the saddle sits. So you can see the string holes are just under the, the bone tie block inlay on the inside, but on the outside they're quite a bit lower, like four or five millimeters. And again that's because of the angle that I drilled the holes. So when the strings pass through, hopefully they won't get stuck on this ramp, but they'll just travel right up the way they should. Um, so this is all pretty well set now. The only thing I have left to do is put a little bevel on the ends of the wings and then do some sanding. I think I forgot to mention when I had roughed out the block, the first thing I did was create a curve on the back side so that the, the gluing surface of the bridge matches the 28 foot radius of the soundboard. I don't want that under any tension. I want the bridge to just fit very comfortably on the soundboard, which it does. So I'll just clean this up now and it'll be all done. There's the bridge, sanded and beveled and ready to go. I don't glue my bridges on before putting the finish on the guitar. I will mask off where the bridge is going to go so that I don't get any of the finish materials on the bare wood there, but it's just much easier for me to get a, a smooth, continuous surface if the, if the bridge isn't already in place. So, on to final sanding of the the guitar and then I'll start putting on the finish. <laughs> 